Hey folks, welcome to another Open VBX tutorial. Now today as promised, I'm going to show you how to set up the Outbound Flows plugin. How to set that cron job and make sure it's actually going to be set up and working. All right. Now, but first of all, we just go in here to the plugin. We click on it. Now you can either download it by clicking this zip here, or you can go to the Downloads tab and download it from there. Doesn't matter. Now it looks harmless enough. Right here it says installation, download and extract the plugins. All right, not a problem, right? But if we scroll down to the bottom here, and this is why you have to read the instructions on the plugin, all of them uh, that you're going to install, is because sometimes I have special instructions down here. Now this one's not common. This one says set cron job. And you might be thinking, how the heck do I do that? All right, I'm going to show you that. And it's not as easy as you might think it is because if you're not familiar with Linux or web servers, because this path to open VBX isn't just one particular folder, uh, at least not if you want it to work, work best. So I actually had to, to ask my, my web host uh, what they thought the best path was, and they told me how cron jobs run and how they run as a root user, so you need the full path from the home directory to do this. And I said, what is that? And they gave it to me. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. This is using C, I'm going to do this with cPanel. If you don't know what the full path is for setting a cron job, ask your web host. They'll tell you any decent host can can do this. If your web host doesn't allow cron jobs, get a new web host. Now, one other thing. This one says set to every 5 minutes. Not every web host will let you set it for that short a period of time. For example, HostGator, one popular host, uh, where this particular program will run, they don't want you to set anything for under 15 minutes. So uh, keep that in mind. Make sure you ask so you don't get in trouble with your host if it's okay to set one. Um, now I'm using a virtual uh, host, pretty much it's a nice cloud hosting uh, setup. My, I can set it for five minutes because I can use as much as I want because they're just going to bill me for all the all this stuff. So I'm going to set it for every five minutes just as required. So we get this set up and we upload it. So we'll go into our, we would go into our FTP here. We'd upload it to our plugins. Okay, so that's all is normal. And just as a quick review, we want to make sure that, oops, wrong folder here. If we go back, that when we upload this particular one, so outbound, this is this one that we double click on that folder so I know I keep reviewing this but if you don't do this it won't work so we upload this now I have renamed it I have renamed it outbound this is important because you need to get the path right and if you don't get the whole folder right so whatever you name this that's going to be part of what we do so make sure that you know that this name could change alright so the next thing we do after that we go to cPanel so log in here I'm on my, my control panel Whatever your control panel is, you're going to want to go to it. Note the home directory. In fact, you might want to copy and paste it because you're going to need it. All right. Now, I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to find cron jobs. For me, this is under advanced, and I'm going to click on it. And it's going to bring up this funny looking screen. All right, this is going to tell you it's going to email and such things. All right, so what the heck is the, this this section here because it doesn't look exactly like the other one right well first of all we want it to run every five minutes that's what it says alright now we do that so let's look back at this here that covers this first section all these little stars and this little stuff that says five that's the beginning of it now let's copy and paste the rest of this now I recommend copying and pasting so you don't mess this up. Remember there is a space in between this PHP 5 and this next path. There's two separate things here. So make sure you maintain these spaces. Alright. Well, I'm back to cPanel. I'm just going to paste this in. Alright. Now it's all in here. This first section here, I don't need to mess with that. This op path to open VBX. Alright. Well, what we want to do we're going to go and we're going to use, oops, make sure you put the slash and start with that. We did home. Now we do the rest of it. Open VBXI. This is the username. Okay. 
this is actually your username for your cPanel login so this is going to be different for you than for for me unless you're <laughs> so make sure you, you just take it from that the home page of cPanel when we were there alright then what's next well the rest of it we get by going to our FTP program it'll tell us because when you log into your FTP program it's going to log you in to the home directory alright so we start from there alright so we go public HTML that's the next step VVX demo that's our folder this is our path alright now we can get the whole thing but this is actually the path that we need so we go back to our cron job here alright I'm just gonna paste this in there we go and make sure you don't get any extra little slashes in here so this is op home open vbxi that's my username slash public html slash vbx demo make sure we get the last slash in here slash plugins slash outbound alright now let me show you because again somebody you can edit these things okay vbx demo that's the name of this folder if you have a different name for your folder make sure you use the correct name alright plugins that's probably always going to be the same you're probably not going to change the name of that one outbound if you've changed the name of this if it says outbound plugin or outbound flows anything like that make sure it's the full name and last you can see here that's the actual file that we're calling so make sure it's there then once that is finally all set up you can finally click add cron job it's added it's down here it's now actually set up to run and this one's set to run every five minutes and that ladies and gentlemen is how you set up a cron job for the outbound plugin for open vbx i know it's not the simplest thing but it's not terribly hard as long as somebody shows you how to do it if you run into problems feel free to ask the open vbx support guys uh, they're, they're pretty helpful but probably the best answer is going to be to go to your web host and ask them how to do it especially if you're not running cPanel because it's going to be probably a little bit different to set it up so there you have it take care be sure to check us out openvbxinstallers.com and you guys have a fantastic day